Hello everybody, Gliderman here. So I'm back today and we're going to be looking at uh, responding to our clicks on this button that we've created. Uh, so we're going to add what's called a action listener to our button. And we can listen for, hence the name, actions on this uh, button. So we're just going to add a line here and we're going to call button dot and then we want to do add action listener and you're going to see that method right there just press return or enter and what we want to do is we want to create a new action listener class that can be used as the action listener for this button so we're going to just type new and then we're just going to call our class that we haven't written yet I will note but we will write it in just a moment and we're just going to call it the click me action listener and you need the parentheses there to indicate that you're calling the constructor of it um, there are ways for you to actually create it uh, like the action listener inside this method but that gets a little bit weird and complex and really bloats your code so there's too, not really too much that we need to do here I mean, we've got this hint to create that class, but that's about it. So we're going to go down here, and uh, we're going to put this inside of this class. So this class will have what's going to be a private class. And basically that just means that it's something that it can only reference in here, like our click me action listener. So we're going to type click me action listener and we're going to do the open brace and press return. Now you're going to see down here that it's going to pop up an error saying that, hey, that's not an action listener. Which if we scroll down here, we can tell it, and autocomplete will do this for us, that we can let our private class implement action listener. So uh, basically what we do need to do now is implement those methods that we haven't implemented yet. So we're just going to double click that and you're going to see that we have this action performed method that was generated for us. Now we don't have any errors. So to recap, basically we've got our button, we're adding an action listener, and we're giving it a new instance of our private click me action listener class, which is uh, implementing the action listener methods so that the button's action listener can call them. In here, where this comment is, we're just going to delete, and then we're going to just do a simple, uh, excuse the spelling, uh, output to our console saying, you clicked me. Just like that. And don't forget to add the semicolon there. So we're just going to save that, and then we're going to click run up here. And uh, you don't need to worry about this, uh, but now, if I move this over here and I click that, you can see that it outputs in here that you clicked me. And, you know, uh, that's only when it properly clicks inside of it, as you can see when I'm clicking that button. So that's uh, very simple uh, using the action listener. You can put basically whatever you want here, um, and you can even add the same type of action listener to multiple buttons uh, though you will need to parse out like e dot I think it's like get source or something which is the source object and then you'll need to compare that to the other objects to make sure uh, that you're referencing the same object or let's just say you had one button that was like uh, always like the exit button but you had it on multiple windows let's just say uh, then you could have them all point to the same action listener, and that action listener, you know, cleanly shuts down your program. So, uh, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!